I think the Indian consumer is in a, is uh, in, having a great time. He's got increase in uh, disposable income. We see spending going up. We see strong demand and the excellent results from consumer companies. And one other factor many are watching in India is the rise in oil prices. Of course, as the country is a big oil importer, what impact that could have in the economy? That will have an inflationary impact, uh, but I guess we are used to a higher uh, oil price and uh, oil systems have also been changed since uh, they were earlier. So there will be an impact on the consumer, but overall I think there is a positive sentiment and we should be able to take it in our stride. And when it comes to your input costs, an increase in the commodity space more broadly, is that something you're watching? Uh, I think the crop has been grown and overall we are seeing good supply coming too, so we don't see an inflation from a commodity cost perspective. What about the weather impact? It wasn't a great crop in India last year. There are some concerns this year, specifically around coffee. What are you seeing in both segments here when it comes to the weather impact on your crops? I think the weather impact uh, is more pronounced in coffee because in certain parts of the coffee growing regions, we've had unseasonal weather and on certain days we have excessive rain. So that has impacted coffee crop and there is a shortage of coffee from a uh, crop perspective in India. For tea, actually, it's quite the reverse. There is a lot of supply, a lot of uh, demand uh, being absorbed by the increased supply. So we don't see uh, a price impact on tea. Uh, coffee will be volatile for some time, mm. but I think crop will come through in the latter part of the year. Speaking of coffee, Starbucks, of course, made their push into India with a joint venture with Tata Global Beverages. There were a lot of questions as to whether Starbucks could really convert a tea-loving nation to coffee. Have they succeeded? Uh, they have. Uh, the, the performance has exceeded expectations. They have clearly succeeded. Uh, we've seen phenomenal growth. Last year, the Starbucks JV grew by over 25%. Uh, we opened uh, uh, three outlets in the same day in Calcutta, and we had probably the highest sales ever at the time of opening. Uh, so we're very happy with the franchise, and we see there's a lot of scope for growth from where we are. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.